Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can interface your Raspberry Pi to the CAN network using a simple pad provided by Wareshare. It's using an MCP2515 converter that's an SPI to CAN or slash RS45 converter from microchip. So you would need pretty much the hat. And for the demonstration purpose, I'm using a USB to CAN adapter and you would need a breakout wire to interface between the converter and the can hat. So let's get started. So let me first go ahead and remove the sleeves of this uh, breakout wire since I cannot directly meet this with the converter. So let me go ahead and do that first. Okay, so on the adapter, pin number two is can low and uh, pin number seven scan high and pin number six is the ground so uh, on the raspberry pi hat you have to use the low which goes here the high that goes here and on the uh, raspberry pi uh, this pin is nothing but the ground so i mean that's how you go ahead and so when you mount it, just ensure that there's a proper clearance between the board and your heatsink. So let's go ahead and boot up the board. So I have booted up the board. Let me first use a network scanner and find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. I'm using advanced IP scanner for this. And this is my range. I'm sca uh, skipping 1.1 because that's always the router. Or you can say the modem. So yeah. So mo in most cases, you would see the device information in the, under the manufacturer, you know, tab. So if it's Raspberry Pi, you should see here as Raspberry Pi Foundation, something like that. So let's wait for the scan to complete it. Yep, and here you can see 104 is showing as Raspberry Pi Foundation. So I have only one Raspberry Pi in the network. So that should be it. Let me go ahead and connect to it. Yep, I'm gonna accept the certificate, root, and my password. And yes, I am in the Raspberry Pi. So the first thing we need to do is change the uh, boot sequence. I mean, changing change the DD overlay in the uh, boot. So let me go ahead and boot config file. Sorry, I think I need to use the nano. Okay, um, let me scroll. So yes, the spy interface is not enabled. So let me just introduce it here. So after this, we need have to reboot. So what I'm doing here in the device for parameter, I'm uh, setting spy interfaces on and the device uh, overlay. So this is pretty much the chip which we use, the MCP2505. This is from Microchip, which is, uh, it supports uh, RS45 and the CAN interface. So I'm setting as a CAN zero. You can change it to CAN one if you need to. And I'm having a WaveShare CAN hat with 12 megahertz crystal. So do check this out. In your case, you may have an eight megahertz and there are cases where it may have 16 megahertz as well. Again, uh, setting up the interrupt as 25, so you can change this to 23 as well. Uh, the maximum frequency at which it will going to operate, you can even uh, change it to 20 megahertz. So I'm just playing it safe and setting it to 10 megahertz. So let me go ahead and write this, exit, and we'll resume back once the board reboots and locks in. Okay, so the board is up and running. Let me check if the the drivers are initialized. So MCP. Yes, the driver is loaded successfully. Now let's let me go ahead and initialize the interface. Uh, here I'm setting the bit rate to 500 kilobits per second for the CAN interface type, and CAN zero is the actual interface. Uh, let me check if that was successfully done using 
the grab command and yes the link is up and running so now we can go ahead and uh, you know do a simple test so what we're going to do is I'm going to use the we can view and uh, I have already connected the adapter so I'm putting the phone for 500 kilobits per second um, let me squeeze this a bit okay so I'm going to send a 29 bit message uh, here that's 70F uh, here the data is 0 0.0105 and 0 bit 8 bytes so whatever I'm going to send is going to show up here Oh man, the network is down. So I'm not sure what happened. Let me check. Let me try to reach it. Oh, sorry. Okay. So let me try to send again. That is not a single. Just in case. Okay. So yeah. So there's something wrong earlier with the uh, link setup. So as you can see, I sent the data 020105 and it went through. I'm going to now do a CAN dump on the uh, I mean, Raspberry Pi and try to send the data from the adapter. So let me do a copy paste. Okay, so this is the data I'm going to send now. And I'm going to initiate the CAN dump here. Okay, so the same data should be uh, seen over here. And that's it. So I pretty much transmitted with the same uh, 29 bit IE, and uh, this is the data which I sent across. So, uh, so that's all I had to show in this video. And also, I forgot to mention earlier. So, if you're interfacing this hat with an actual CAN network, you need to have a 120 ohm termination resistance, as it's going to cause a lot of issues in the network. So. Please do like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.